Hello everyone, Shadefire here, and welcome back to the System Shock Remake Demo. This is, I guess, part two. Don't know if there's going to be a part three. I guess we'll find out when we continue looking around the medical deck here. Also, I did look, and there doesn't even seem to be a brightness option in this demo, so it's just going to be dark. <laughs> Sorry. Ooh, another soda that we haven't drank yet. I don't actually know why I'm drinking these. I don't even need to. Not functional. Okay. What is that connected to? Is this bulkhead here? So we're in Delta Quadrant right now, and we need to get to Beta Quadrant to progress. But, geez, that actually got me. Didn't see him in the shadows there. Sneaky fellers. One thing I will say about System Shock 2, it's very hard for enemies in that to sneak up on you, because they all make their distinct sounds when they're just wandering around the map. Okay, some more bullets. Another grenade. If we run into another one of those mantises, I'm just going to huck a fragmentation grenade at him. Because he was pretty tough. Ooh. Is that where we came from? I think it is. Yeah, that's just that window there. Alright. So looking at the map, we haven't gone this way. I also gotta, like, kind of check these wall panels, because they might have things we can open. But yeah, I think this game could definitely benefit from a flashlight. Movement detected. Oop. Cyborg. One of us. That looks like it should be a door, or a hatch. What is this, right here? That looks like a sentry gun. It won't budge. Okay, well that's Alpha Quadrant. This is the central hub, according to the map. Ow, damn it. Oh, this is what they're using, too. Oh boy, that has a big-ass laser on it. So we picked up a mag pulse rifle, which is apparently good against robots, so maybe we should use that on this thing. I don't know, it looks scary and dangerous, so I didn't want to risk it. Ooh, camera. Probably be using my spark beam on those. Okay, this is a mobile laser. Level security is now 72%. And this thing has nothing for us. Man, this is a pretty big level. That's gamma. So maybe there will be a part three after all, <laughs> if we have this whole deck available. I thought some parts of it would just be blocked off. Okay, charge station. So we can use that to keep topping up our energy and keep our beam charged. Okay, we already searched him. I'm gonna take it that we can't get in the alpha right now. It's very blocked off. But we didn't even finish exploring where I was before. <laughs> so many directions to go in. Okay. So where did we come from? Delta Quadrant. Maintenance tunnels. I started going that way. Down here is Gamma Quadrant. Okay, so it looks like we have been in Gamma Quadrant before. I haven't really been watching the map to see which areas we're in. But there's a big middle section we haven't gone through yet. Central hub. Can I search the cameras? No. 
There's a... Uh... I got shot, but I can't tell from where. I don't know why I'm hesitating to shoot these guys, like I'm not shooting them right away. Gotta make sure that looked pretty delicate. Is that a camera? Yep, that was another camera. So this is Althea Grossman. There's a surprising lack of like cabinets and stuff you can search. What's this? It's another mini pistol. I don't think we need another one. Especially because I don't think these have durability. Ten, two, four, two. Uh, empty. Drop. So, is there anything actually in? Oh. Video mail. So that's Citadel Station. Reactor output 40%. Oh, we're in Saturn orbit. I guess this isn't in Earth orbit after all. Alright, well. Not really anything we need in there. Nathan Darcy. I think one of these people that we found messages from, we had to go to their office, but I can't remember who. Do we have, like, an objectives kind of... And there's status of Citadel Station. So there's a lot of decks we have to go through. Charging laser... Primary objective of the station's computer system. Laser charging. Okay, so I don't think we have a time limit for that. Thermos. Audio log. Althea, I have a plan. The only way to stop the mining laser is to fire it into the station's own shields. I barely made it to my office, so you'll need to get up to the research level, get Isotop X-22 for the shields, and get the safety override code for the laser in the research library. Head down to the reactor and use X-22 to power the shields. The laser can be fired from the research central control after you enter the safety override code. Number two. Ah! All right, well, I mean, that sounds like a plan, but I'm pretty sure we can't go to any of the other decks. Oh, there is something behind here looking at the map. But I don't think I can actually get there. That's just another part of the map. Broken beyond repair. Hmm. Somehow I don't think I can smash my way in there. Gotta be like a secret panel though I can open. Otherwise it's just connected to somewhere else like this area here. Alright, well, let's head back down. Mobile laser storage. I guess that makes sense that we ran into a mobile laser here. What do they actually need a mobile laser for? I'm less sure about. Okay, so I could go into Gamma. Uh, looking at the map here, I was thinking maybe we go back to the other area first and go up here, but it looks like we can just cut through Gamma, and it's actually faster than if I go all the way around the outside. So, let's check out the rest of Gamma. Probably a good idea to close the doors behind you so that, you know, mutants can't show up. In System Shock 2... The level does have respawning enemies, no matter what level you're in, but I don't know if that was the case in the original game. Or if you can actually kill everything in an area.
Well, that didn't go great. I have biological contamination, but I don't know if that was from being in the room or from getting hit. I think there is a toxic gas in here. Yeah, probably from those barrels right there. Okay, I think that's all we needed in here was that audio log. So System Shock 2 also had like a contamination clearing syringe, so we probably need that in this game as well. <laughs> Otherwise we have to slowly get rid of our poison. Alright, I looked at one of these and then got distracted and we went somewhere else. Are these just for hanging out in, or they serve a purpose as well? <laughs> it kind of seems like, oh, you know, I just need to, to relax and stand around some plants, breathe some real air. Okay, we got a log from Althea. Todd got the combination for the armory on medical. It's 705. Once we're armed, some of the survivors want to head for the flight deck and escape. Others want to try the bridge. They think that if we can take Shodan offline, we can retake the station. I'm heading out to lead a group on Darcy's plan. Together, we will lead this. Okay, so we got the code to the armory that we saw earlier. So we're gonna have to backtrack there. See what we can find in the armory. Probably use another healing patch. Haven't really seen another healing bed yet. Alright, I think that's all that's in this little closet. I don't think we can, like, climb up here. <laughs> And just like Bioshock and System Shock 2, I like that I keep using those two as my comparison, but you know, it is a continuous series. I feel like a lot of people don't know that. Recommends a, red drink. Today. a lot of people who only played Bioshock don't realize that it is a spiritual successor to System Shock by the same company. Alright, so where are we going here? I guess we just go out the way I was gonna go. I don't remember exactly where the armory was. Okay, these guys do seem to be respawning. So I think we've got a respawning enemy situation. But then again, all of these immersive sims tend to have respawning enemies, or at least these kind of more combat focused immersive sims. Was it 706? 705. Okay, looks like some other folks got into the armory as well and off themselves. Spark beam. I don't think there's anything I can do with the spark beam. Like, it doesn't have ammo I can take out because it's just powered by me. Some grenades. More bullets. Are those different bullets? No, nope, those are standard as well. I mean, the fact that it says standard makes me think there's also going to be, like, armor piercing. Proximity mines. Grenades. Soda. Oh, this is a different grenade. Is this an EMP grenade? Yeah. I wasn't actually looking at it. I thought it was just the same. Alright, so we're like way over equipped now for what we've been dealing with. Hmm. No actual guns in here though. You don't know the unlock code. Okay, so we could open this. I kind of wish that that text was more centered instead of having it at the very top of the screen. Okay, so. 
There's this place up here we can go to. There's that, which is part of Beta Quadrant. And there's this here. So I guess we'll go that way first. Through the maintenance that I started to go through. And then stopped because I thought it was the end of the previous demo. He doesn't have anything. Really bright in here, and I'm not entirely sure what that light source is right there. <laughs> just coming through the wall. I think we might as well just use the spark beam until we run out of juice. Like, there's no reason to hold on to that juice right now. Corpses, just a pile of bones and skulls. Kind of wonder why that's there. Is this like a mutant nest? Some more bullets. Okay, there's a ladder going up here. What's this? Battery pack. Can use that. I mean, that's pretty much ammunition for the spark beam. Until we have some other use for our energy. It's also not entirely clear half the time what these buttons do. I think I opened something down below, but let's go over here first. Oop. dead. It's kind of overkill, I guess. But yeah, there's a lot of human corpses in this that just don't have anything. They're just there. <laughs> this decoration. You've got a whole human corpse here, and you're telling me that you're still so hungry? I definitely don't remember where that one wall panel is that said I needed lower security to open it. Okay, what's this? This looks important. There's some way to activate it. locked in place. It won't move. Nothing happened. I think you can just right-click at any time, so it's not always just like, this is something you can open. I don't know what this is. I don't, like, see any switch to open this door. Oop. This guy's got some bullets since another patch. Hmm... Yeah, I don't know. I'm kind of stumped for this one. Alright, well that's a dead end. So let's go down instead. One thing I will say is I feel like we're not really accomplishing that much yet. Okay, there's toxin over there. Like, I feel like I am mostly just kind of wandering around at this point without much of an objective that I can do anything with. Aside from, stop the mining laser. Okay. So I think that's all that's down here. So I'm going to say that this area is pretty much done for. Because unless there is a progression-based item here, then I'm not worried about missing stuff because, you know, again, it's a demo. So any items we miss, we're probably not going to need yet. 
I think I've got the mutants down pat at this point. It's nice that they drop health, though. Because it's like, on the one hand, you might be like, oh shit, respawning enemy means I'm just going to waste all my stuff and then have nothing left. But if they're giving me healing, then, you know, I don't have to feel bad about using my healing. Okay. So let's get back here. And I guess this only leaves one place to go, which is... Wait, where is this? That was a healing suite. I don't know why this is kind of like showing that we didn't explore it. But uh, yeah, the one place to go is up here to Beta Quadrant, which maybe we'll circle around into Alpha Quadrant. So we need to go straight through here. These floppy physics limbs when we open doors as they load back in. And then... Actually, we need to go through the big slaughter room. And then up through here... Uh, that was this door. Did I not open this? Maybe this is the one that I need lower security. bunch of junction boxes. So this must be the radioactive trench then. Oh. Go away, Shodan. Level security is now 52%. Okay, this goes down. Pulsar lift. Okay, switch doesn't do anything. I'm gonna guess I don't want to go out there yet, or I'll get cooked. So we got a different kind of panel puzzle here. I don't know how to let go of this. Okay, so I'm assuming we need all three of these to connect. Or do I just need one of them, but I don't know which one will actually go through. I mean, it's green down here, so I'm wondering, do we need the yellow and the blue? Because it seems like I can't grab another plug. Oh, I can grab this one now. Why did it turn to red? Okay, that made it purple. See, but yeah, I can't like put this down. I have to put it. Hmm. If I put that in there, and I put that in there, so the red plug is completely unselectable as far as I can tell. But I think I need a third one here to get this to work, so... Oh, there we go. I gotta click the light. Yeah, no, it has to be green. Oh, 
All right, so how would I get green? I mean, I'm not sure why blue splits into red and yellow. I guess that's removing the blue and you just end up with the... Okay, so can I put this back? Okay, you can actually put them back. I had to figure out how this actually works. So I put this in here. Nothing happens. Just kind of have to see how these combine out. Okay, we end up with purple and orange there. That looks right. All right, so the kind of trial and error there. So we turn on the light bridge. More bullets. So we are actually making progress now. Unfortunately, I think if we go down here, we will get cooked, but let's find out. Radiation poisoning, very high. So let's not go down there yet. <laughs> Probably need an anti-rad syringe to clear that, too, or patch. So I'm going to say we don't go down there until we find a way to shut this off. As I slowly die of radiation poisoning. Alright, the radiation is gone. I mean, it doesn't seem to be working, because he doesn't give a shit about the radiation. So where does this lead me? Leads me to more corpses. I'm almost out of battery, I should use one of my battery packs. I mean, I think I have enough bullets now that I could just use my pistol. <laughs> We've got 95, so yeah, I think we'd start popping off. It's another light bridge. So this is a whole area. It's not just one light bridge to get across and then you're good. So go back here. I think that soldier-looking man just threw a grenade at me, but I'm not sure. He kind of ran off. Hello? Definitely shooting at me. Place to use my lean. <laughs> 
This is a cyborg assassin. He's also got bullets for us. So I'm wondering, like, where exactly progress-wise this demo will end. Oh, that's another mantis. Oh, God, I can't go back up. All right. I'm going to pull out a frag grenade. Uh, that's, that's... Okay, he kind of, like... <laughs> I'm going to say that he kind of, like, kicked it forward, but there was something else behind me, like a proximity mine. Oh boy. I think that, uh, yeah, because there's no auto saves, so pretty sure that I'm gonna have to just load the save that I started the episode with and play back up to where we were. So, we're definitely gonna skip that. Not gonna make you go through that again. But, uh, yeah, I'm kind of digging this. I do think it needs more polish, but. You know, this isn't the final build, and it doesn't even have a finalized release date yet, so I think that they can... They can make this something decent. Let's see... So where did I save? I think I saved at the end of the last episode. Yeah, so I'm gonna have to do all the stuff we just did, but... You know, not hard to do when I can look at the map and see where we need to go. So, I will see you when I have caught back up. All right, so I played all the way back up to where I died and tried to loot all the same rooms that we went through before, but I actually ended up finding a room that I didn't immediately realize was new, and there was a puzzle panel in there that opened up the door to Alpha, so we can actually go back there as well. So there might be a third episode. We might just deal with this room here, wrap up, and then do a final, probably shorter episode to check out the rest of Medical. All right, so we know there's a Mantis down here. Which, uh, maybe we just give him the full burst from the spark beam. Because he's a cyborg, so I don't know if he counts as organic, robot, or both. System Shock 2 has enemies that are one of those three things. Uh, I actually can see him right there, so... Let's just try throwing the frag grenade again now that we're not going to run into it. They gotta make these grenades heavier or something, because... <laughs> they're way too bouncy. I think he's actually too close to me to hit me. Because I didn't take any damage there. Weird. Okay, so last time, I backed into there, and there was a proximity mine or something that blew me up. Really not a whole lot in this room. Alright, so I don't know if that proximity mine's actually going to be there. I think it might be something deployed by the cyborg soldiers, or cyborg assassins. Because I'm not hearing it. There was a beeping last time. Yeah, that's... That sound. <laughs> Alright, that hurt, but... We can just patch up. I think I just backed straight into that last time, though, and took the full force. So I don't actually know where this demo ends. I assume it'll probably just end when we get to, like, an elevator to the next deck. That seems, you know, considering it's the medical demo, that seems like a good place to stop. Gas grenade... Gas grenade. I don't actually know what the gas grenades are good for, either. I assume flesh, you know, mutants. Hold on, is that something back there? No. That looks like somewhere they would tuck away an item. But yeah, that extra room that I found was actually just one of the under-the-floor areas in the central hub, so that's why I didn't immediately realize it was a new area. Though it did become apparent once I saw that there was a repulsor lift leading to a puzzle, where you have to, like, float in mid-air to solve the puzzle. 
Gas grenade. Okay, so where are we right now? We're actually in Alpha. So yeah, it looks like we have this area here, and then maybe some of these doors. So I think we'll wrap up right here, and then we'll finish in a final video, which will probably be just like 20 minutes or something. But yeah, I'm kind of digging this demo. It, it needs some polish on like the combat feel, but the rest of the stuff's pretty cool. I like just looking around this place. It does need a flashlight though. These corners are so dark. But yeah. So I'll see you guys for the final part of the System Shock Remake demo. Until then, take care.